What's going on, Third Army? Joe here. Today, I have two new sticks for John Rannigan, one of my buddies. Uh, awesome player, played at John Hopkins, plays for now in the PLL and also the NLL, and right now he's playing for the new New York Riptide. That's a fun thing to say. Um, so really cool colorways there. Uh, this time we're doing some warrior heads for him. Uh, he's now, I believe, using warrior heads for indoor. Uh, he plays indoor and outdoor, which is really cool as an American. He's been doing it for a bunch of years. And uh, when he plays indoor, he plays defense. When he plays outdoor, he plays offense, which I think is really fun, similar to what I do. So his indoor sticks are pretty much just exactly what I would use. So I usually like doing them up. And he gives me freedom to do whatever the hell I want. So I always do fun ones. Let's get into it. Here we have a Warrior Evo 5. This is the first time we're doing Warrior Heads, I believe, for John. Um, he was using Under Armour, and for Outdoor, he always uses Maverick. So a little bit of change up there. Um, the Evo 5, um, I really like this head. It strings up great, especially with my style pocket in it. So really good combination between head and pocket. But first, let's get into this die. Uh, the New York Riptide have a really cool colorway. Uh, their main colors are orange and navy, and then they have a sea foam kind of accent color, um, and then they use a lot of white. So John always really likes kind of clean heads and kind of every time I get to do heads for him, I get to sneak in a few little more zazzy elements and uh, we're slowly converting him to having really cool custom heads. Dye is super clean, so it goes from navy to that sea foam to white. Really, really nice. These heads dye great with powder too. It's just using our navy, this kind of special minty sea foam, and then just of course the white at the bottom. And John's left-handed, so we just put the graphics on the left-hand side for him uh, as a little little cheeky, uh, kind of hidden in there just so he sees, because he likes really clean stuff. Uh, but I was like, putting his name or number on his head makes it a little bit more special. Uh, simple die, just executed really well, always looks great. Moving on to the pocket itself, uh, you guys have seen this a million times. This is a W4, this is my pocket. It's probably the number one pocket or second most popular pocket that we do. Uh, we did the Fiber 2 system in it, which he absolutely loves, and then we did it in the uh, amber colorway to bring that orange in, um, which I think is really nice. My favorite part is the orange nylon going across the top because on their jerseys, the collar is orange, so I thought we'd had to do that for sure. Um, and then we wanted to keep it clean by doing white all around the outside. Again, John likes white, nice and clean things. I think it makes the orange stick out a little bit more without bringing too much of it in, um, and just looks really great. Again, the combination between head and pocket is absolutely perfect. Beautiful channel. And as he is a defensive transition player, uh, just like what I play in box, uh, this is exactly what you want. You kind of want a nice shifty mid that has a really, really nice clean release to it and just accuracy, because your biggest thing is gonna be moving that ball up and either put it in where you want it or put it in someone else's stick streaking off the bench. And you gotta kind of be a jack of all trades when you're playing transition. That's why I love that position. I also think John has a really good time playing it as well. So this head's pretty money. And you guys know me, if someone tells me that they kind of want something I always push the envelope way too far. So we did this awesome secondary one. Uh, so we did the super nice kind of team issued one. And then I always think it's fun to give someone totally different idea uh, than they asked for, but also kind of in the realm of opportunity with the kind of team theming and also the person. So this one, we did another Evo 5 with the same pocket, uh, but you're gonna see this crazy awesome mint color. Um, we actually did it a little bit less in the powder, so it came out kind of a seafoam green, which is that main accent color. And then I had this like weird idea to actually just marble fade the top. So instead of marbling the whole head and then dipping for the fade, I actually like fanned off the marbling spray going down the head, which makes it kind of like the, uh, like a shoreline, like the wave coming in and how it gets like foamy and white towards the top of the head, which I thought was just a really fresh, cool idea. And when you can do a head like this and it's a, professional team and it's going to stick out without being too ridiculous. We just had to do it. Um, absolutely loved the way it turned out. So we also put Rannigan hidden down on the lower side down here because we dyed the whole head. And then up in the top right hand corner here we did 31 which is John's number uh, which I think is just nice and ghosted in. Uh, nice and subtle because mostly you just kind of see this color and you're like all right it's a bit much but then when you really see that detailing um, I think it gets away with it and it's really awesome. Same exact pocket and again we brought that orange nylon over. Um, which is even more striking in this one because we did the diamond white throughout the whole thing, uh, which we normally don't do for him. Normally it's like, you know, a simpler head with some colored mesh. So I think it's gonna be really cool doing kind of a crazier head with white out, uh, the white out on the stringing kit, except for that orange uh, nylon across the top. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, I just love this one. They're kissing, look, they're kissing. <laughs> I need a day off. Here they are side by side. Uh, definitely let me know your favorite in the comments below. This one's very like team oriented, a little, little classy. It's got some cool looks going to it. But this one's just wild and different, yet subtle at the same time because the colors aren't too wild except for that orange. Um, I don't know which one I'd pick. I think it'd be really cool to do like this one away with the away jerseys and maybe this one at home 
We'll see which one John picks. If you guys need uh, a head, need some stringing, need some powder, need some fiber too, need some advice, definitely check out thrownlacrosse.com. I'll have links in the description as always. And that's everything. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the field.